God will open a path where there seems to be none. This is an exhilarating truth that beckons us to step into the unknown with faith that reveals that even in our deepest trials, there is a the path of hope is illuminated by God's endless light. You'll picture yourself in the moonlight of a quiet night, standing at the edge of a vast frozen lake, where the road ahead is obscured from view as the ice stretches out to the horizon, featureless and flat, without features. A footprint that hints at the road ahead, this scenario reflects those periods in our lives when our next steps are unclear when the road ahead is unmarked. Like an icy zone, vast under the stars, but in such moments. It is God's guidance that acts as our North Star pointing the way, when all seems dim and uncertain, as the rising dawn gently shines light on the ice revealing the paths we, we cannot see in the dark. God also illuminates our path forward. Today we will discover God's infinite guidance, His unparalleled ability to turn our trials into victory and understand that God will truly find a way, where there seems to be no way any. I will also join you in praying a powerful prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. So stay tuned until the end and open your heart to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends, Isaiah 43, 16 and 18 to 9 remind us that the Lord makes a way on the sea and a path through mighty waters, remembering not the former things nor considering the former. I'm going to do a new thing. Will it appear now? Knowing that I will even make a road in the wilderness and a river in the desert. This divine assurance speaks directly to our souls, urging us to let go of the past and embrace the new journeys God is paving the way for us. It is a call to faith to believe in the invisible and trust in God's infinite power to bring about life the seemingly impossible as we move forward. Let us hold fast to this promise because it is with God that all things are renewed and made possible, guiding us through every wilderness and desert of our lives. Let us now discover God's sure guidance when we find ourselves in the vast frozen world of life not knowing which direction to turn. How do we recognize the right path? dilemma that many of us face. But the Bible reassures us that God is always present to guide us through every trial that God promises to lead us to find our way, where there seems no way just like he did for the Y Israel as they stood before the Red Sea. An event recorded in Exodus 14, 21, 22. They faced a seemingly insurmountable barrier, but God parted the waters to guide them on dry land. This miraculous event safely serves as a powerful testament to God's ability to provide guidance when our paths seem blocked. Faith is the key to understanding and accepting God's guidance. It is like standing on the surface of a vast frozen lake under the moonlight, where the path ahead is obscured by endless vast ice. Even when we can't see how God is there to guide us every step of the way, this assurance comes from a relationship with Him nurtured through prayer, the study of His Word, and God's guidance. The Holy Spirit enables us to hear His voice above all, all others. Sometimes God's guidance leads us down unexpected paths that challenge us to trust Him beyond our understanding. It is reminiscent of walking through a dense forest, where the path is not clear but step by step we find our way. 356 encourages us to trust in the Lord with all our heart and not to lean on our own understanding because he will direct our path. This trust is not passive but requires active participation to follow where he leads even when it is beyond our abilities. God's guidance is not just about the destination but also about the journey along the way we encounter experiences that shape us refine and prepare us for what lies ahead every step taken along the way. Faith is a step toward becoming more like Christ. Align our desires with the gods and let his will manifest in our lives. The peace that comes from following God's guidance is unlike any other. Peace fills our hearts, even in the midst of storms, 
knowing that he is always with us, guiding us to safety. Philippians 4 verse 7 speaks of the peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding our hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. This peace is the sign of walking in guidance of God, a serene trust in his provision. And protection walking in God's guidance also means being in harmony with the Holy Spirit who empowers and guides us as we will of God. The prompting of the Spirit is gentle, a still small voice guiding us toward righteousness and away from danger. Sensitivity to this guidance requires a heart attuned to the presence of God. God be willing to follow his promptings. God's guidance often asks us to step out in faith beyond our comfort zone. It is a call to trust in his sovereign plan, knowing that he is with us every step of the way Joshua 1 ver 9 offers encouragement in these moments, reminding us to be strong and courageous for God. God will be with us at all times and in all places throughout the Bible. We see examples of individuals who, despite facing difficult challenges, still experience God's guidance and provision. These stories, along with our own testimonies, remind us that God is faithful, always making a way for his children. God's guidance brings clarity to our purpose, aligning our lives with his plan and purpose. It is a journey of discovery where we learn more about God's heart and our role in his great plan. As we walk in his guidance, our lives become evidence of his faithfulness, inspiring others to trust in his direction. Accepting God's guidance is a choice, a decision to follow him wherever he leads. It is a commitment to walk by faith, not by trust, that he will make a way, even when the path is not clear. When we make this choice, we see that God's guidance is not just about getting there, but about getting closer to him every step of the way. Let us now explore the transformation of trust in God's guidance as similar to sowing a seed in fertile soil. At first the growth is invisible, buried below the surface, but over time sunlight and water it emerges transformed and grown. This process mirrors our journey of faith transformation as rooted in faith in God. When we place our trust in God, a transformation begins in our hearts. This transformation happens gradually, often invisible to others at first. Its impact is monumental. Psalm 51 verse 10 records this beautiful saying, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew the steadfast spirit within me. Our hearts once burdened with sin and doubt renewed and invigorated by God's loving guidance. This trust also reshapes our understanding of our identity in God's eyes. It that we are beloved and called to a purpose. The purpose is much bigger than we can imagine when understanding this changes the way we see ourselves and our place in the world. Ephesians 2.10 reminds us that we are his workmanship in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to walk in with confidence. God helps us embrace this identity as we step into the roles he has designed for us with confidence that our relationships undergo a profound transformation as well as faith in God. God teaches us to love others with the love that he has shown us to do to forgive, to extend grace, and to serve this transformation. Rooted in the understanding that each person is created in the image of God worthy of love and respect and trust in God. Our relationships reflect his love more each day. Trusting, trusting in God's guidance also changes our response to challenges. Instead of giving in to fear or despair, we are equipped to face obstacles with faith and courage. Facing a giant, David trusted God more than his own strength leading to a seemingly impossible victory. 1 Samuel 17, 4, 5 to 47 highlights David's trust in God as the foundation of his victory, as well as how we approach our dreams and goals. Changing our trust in God means offering our wishes to him, aligning our desires with his will. This does not mean giving up on our dreams, but rather entrusting them to God, who knows the best path for us 
Proverbs 16.3 encourages us to commit to working for God and His plans. You will be established. This commitment to trust can lead to the realization of our dreams in ways we never anticipated our perspective on success, and failure is also transformed in God's economy. It will become an opportunity to grow and learn step by step guided by God's hand. This change of perspective is freeing us from the fear of failure and empowering us to live simply for God. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 reassures us that my grace is sufficient for you because my strength is made perfect and weak in our weaknesses and failures. God's power is exalted. Trust in God's guidance brings a deep sense of peace and contentment that is the peace of knowing we are in the hands of the sovereign God who loves us and wants the best for us. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 refer to this section calling us not to be anxious but to present our requests to God with the promise that His peace will guard the heart and soul we. Remember this faith cultivate resilience like a tree that bends but does not break in a storm. Faith rooted in belief in God allows us to withstand life's challenges. We become we should be resilient not because of our own strength, but because of our reliance on God. This is our refuge and strength to always help in times of difficulty. Psalm 46 verse 1 declares that the joy we find when we trust God is unparalleled. It is a joy that is not dependent on circumstances, but is rooted in God's love and faithfulness. This joy has the ability to spread to the lives of others and draw them to God's love. 1 Peter 1 verse 8 describes this joy that even though we have not seen Christ, we love Him and was filled with a glorious and indescribable joy. Ultimately, trusting in God's guidance is transformative because it aligns our lives with God's purpose. It causes us to live not for ourselves but for something greater than the kingdom. God's kingdom this connection brings a sense of fulfillment and purpose that the world cannot provide. Matthew 6 verse 33 encourages us to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness with the promise that all these things will be added to us. My friends, the transformation that comes from trusting God's guidance is profound and far-reaching. It touches every aspect of our lives, reshaping us from within as we continue to trust Him. Let us embrace the changes He brings as we walk confidently on the path He has laid out before us. Let us now turn our attention to God's unparalleled ability to turn our trials into victories on a journey of faith where the moments that test our faith in God's promise open a path where there seems to be none. Life is for growth. God creates paths in our lives through seemingly insurmountable situations when faced with insurmountable walls. Our natural inclinations can is to turn back and doubt how a path can be made, but in these moments, God's power shines most brightly. The story of Joshua and the walls of Jericho in Joshua 6, 2-5 serves as a powerful evidence for this truth. Israel faced an impenetrable city, but God provided a way to destroy the walls without requiring a siege. This is not just a military victory, it is a declaration that with God no barrier is too great and no way is too big and no way is too hidden. This is not just a military victory, the fact that it is a declaration that for God no barrier is too great and nothing is too great to trust God paves the way. For letting go of our understanding and expectations, it acknowledges realize that our vision is limited but God's vision is limitless. Isaiah 55, 8, 9 reminds us that my thoughts are not your thoughts nor your ways. My ways say, Lord, for the heavens are higher than the sun, so is the earth my ways are higher than your ways. And my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. This surrender is not a sign of weakness, but ultimate trust in God's sovereign power and goodness in the wilderness of our uncertainty. God's guidance is like water to a dry land that nourishes and restores our hope and strength. Wild experiences during trials are rich with God's presence. It is a time of dependence on Him, where our faith is purified and our faith deepens like the Israelites in the desert led by a cloud by day 
and a pillar of fire by night, we too are guided by God's light even in the barrenness of trials. Will God's provision and finding a path where there seems to be none is not just about removing obstacles, but also about shaping ourselves into vessels capable of moving through them. The shaping process includes training our character, strengthening our faith, and deepening our dependence on Him. Philippians 4.13 assures us that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This strength is not innate but is given to us as we walk in faith believing trust in God's provision. God's ways are often unexpected and unusual. The parting of the Red Sea is a prime example of God's ability to solve the most unlikely things. Exodus 14 verses 21 to 22 recounts how God turned an insurmountable obstacle into the path of salvation for His people. This miraculous event serves as a reminder that God's solution surrounds human reasoning. Accepting God's promise of elimination requires patience and perseverance regarding the timing of His intervention. Always perfect, even though it may not fit into our schedule. Waiting for God to act is itself an act of faith that demonstrates our trust in His timing and plan. But waiting for our faith to be tested and our faith strengthened as we witness God open up a path where there seems to be none is a testimony that strengthens not only our faith but also our the faith of those around us. Our testimonies become a beacon of hope, illuminating the path for others who may be facing similar challenges. They are living proof of our faithfulness and integrity. God's power, encouraging others to believe in Him. God's assurance creates a path that fuels our courage to step into the unknown. Trusting His guidance, it empowers us to walk in faith, knowing that God is with us guiding and providing this courage that comes not from naivety, but from a deep assurance of the words God's promise in times of despair or doubt the promise that God will make a way where there seems to be no way is a lifeline that is a promise that inspires hope that strengthens our faith and compels we must keep moving forward. Even when we don't see the path, it reminds us that for God nothing is impossible and no situation is beyond His redemption. Friends, dear friends, as we journey together to understand the depths of God's promises that will pave the way for us, let us bring this assurance into every aspect of our lives. Let it be the foundation of our virtue our faith, the source of our courage, and the guiding light in our darkest hours. Become like no one else we can be strengthened by the stories of faith we have shared, inspired by the certainty of God's guidance transformed by the faith we place in Him, and be uplifted by the joy of walking in His promises. Remembering that no obstacle is too great, no night is too dark, and no path is too unclear for God's guiding light. Let us move forward with courage, perseverance, and a firm belief that with God all things are possible. May this truth energize your spirit. Ignite your faith and inspire you to face each day with hope, new hope, and determination in every moment of life. Doubt remember that God is with you, God is for you, and now God will make a way for all those in my voice. Let us come to God in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me that you may have all the blessings of this. Let us pray to our merciful and loving God, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart full of praise. You are the Creator out to heaven and earth, whom the parts see and is God who makes the way in places where there seems to be no His greatness is beyond understanding, and His power is unsurpassed. Mercy yours lasts forever, and your love touches the depths of our souls. Lord, I thank you for your endless blessings, for the gift of life, and for your grace that surrounds me. I am so grateful for your guiding light that has guided me through life's darkest valleys and highest peaks. Merciful God, forgive me for the times I have strayed from your path and the moments I doubted your ability to find the way without you forgiving me. I too forgive those who have wronged me. Release any bitterness, anger, or resentment. Create in me a pure heart and renew the right spirit within me in this moment. I stand on the word promise in your word. I declare that no mountain is too high, no valley too deep, 
and no obstacle too great that you cannot guide me in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke every form darkness, any attempt by the enemy to derail my path or dim my light. I bind any spirit of doubt or discouragement, and I affirm my faith, hope, and courage within me. Lord, as I overcome the uncertainties of life, lead me in your righteousness. Make your path clear before me in areas where I see no way. I trust you to create paths of growth and blessings of opportunity. I am grateful that you are opening doors for me, that no one can close and you are creating rivers in my desert. Jehovah Rapha, my healer. I pray for your healing to my life and my loved ones, healing our bodies, minds, and spirits. I declare in the name of Jesus that we are healed from crown of head to sole of feet protects us from the attacks of enemies, whether they attack our health or spiritual relationships, protects us from harm and envelops us in peace. God's peace surpasses all understanding as I say this prayer with. Everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is open before you right now. We agree to stand firm in faith. Believe, believe in breakthroughs and healing and provision. As your children, we declare victory in our battle and declare that by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed and set free. Bless us, Lord, with your abundant love and mercy. Guide us, protect us, and use us for your glory. Protect us, yes, as we come and go and lead us out of temptation. Let your spirit fill us, empowering us to live lives together that reflect your light and love. Keep the faith that you are doing things together for our good. We are grateful for all that you do for us and for all that you are about to do. Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of our loved ones because it is in heaven for you a kingdom of power and glory forever. Thank you if you are blessed by this message for the word, amen, in the comments. Below the mighty name of Jesus declares that all this prayer blessing is now coming to you in the name of Jesus. You can help us reach more people and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by how to click the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our Daily Life Bible channel for more videos that will bless your heart and lift your spirit. We appreciate everyone who has supported us. You are blessed to be a blessing to those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I hope you receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are your past, doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and save the lost. God loves you. It must be God's will that any should perish. But since all must repent, say this simple prayer of salvation for yourself. Lord, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I renounce my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow my Lord and Savior Jesus. Hear my prayer, I pray. Thank you, God, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make the decision to be publicly baptized as a symbol of your decision to follow Jesus. So, then I encourage you to make friends with other believers to learn more about your new life and to know more about God. Please leave your prayer request in the comments so we can present them before God for your blessings and victories. But we also invite other believers on the YouTube platform and around the world to join us and start praying for you now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see the answer to your prayer request, it doesn't mean you shouldn't pray. Rest assured that we are actively offering God each request in accordance with His will we believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and perfectly planned guidance. God's is all glory. The grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.